What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. So this video is gonna be in English again because I decided to do each or another week a video in English so that way we can learn more and you can learn watching this video and I can learn because I'll study to, to make this video so we can practice together and also because I have some subscribers that don't speak Portuguese so I think it is really annoying when you're watching a video and you can understand what they're trying to say so it's gonna be a good thing for both cases so let's do this this video is gonna be a challenge because I'll try to teach you something that I'm learning here so it's about false friends not about false friends in real life like um I have a friend and she betrayed me. No, not like that. False friends in grammar. In Portuguese, false friends means false cognitivos, which means that we have a word in English and the same or similar word in Portuguese, but they have different meanings. That's what I will teach you guys today. So the first word that I put on my list is about parents. Parents is similar to the word parentes in Portuguese, but they have different meaning. Parents in English means the mom and daddy. And parents in Portuguese means parentes, which in English would be relative. So that's really, really different. And it's really, really common. Every professor, every teacher teaches about this on schools. So that's the first word that I separate for us today. The second word would be actual. Well, actual in English, it's similar to atual in Portuguese. Well, atual means current in English. Actual means verdadeiro. That would be like truth. And here it goes, another word that is similar to actual, it's actually. We say a lot of actually on the daily life. So in a conversation, we say like, oh, actually, da, 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 da. actually is not atualidade. Actually, it means na verdade. And it's really, really common here when you have a conversation with someone. You say, actually, this is not true. The third word that I separate for us is journal. Journal, it's really similar to the word jornal in Portuguese. But journal, it means diário. So when you want to say a journal, like jornal, you would say newspaper. So journal... Diário in newspaper is journal. The fourth word is data. Data it's really similar to data, and data in Portuguese means date. Data it means dados. So on that date I'm gonna get married, or on that date I'm gonna have a test. But data it's not about data. Data is like, um, my phone data is almost over. It means that you use all of your dados of your phone. The fifth word is about contest. Contest is really similar to contestar. Contest, it means competição. And contestar, it means to impeach. It depends how you want to say it and the meaning that you want to say. But that's really just an example. So, contest, competição, e contestar is about to impeach someone or something. The sixth, sixth and last word that I'll teach you guys is college. College, and it is similar to colégio in Portuguese. But college, it means faculdade, what would be like university. And colégio... It means high school. So when you want to say, I want to do a college, you're actually saying, you see that? You're actually saying um, university. But when you want to say colégio, you're going to say high school. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can learn a little bit of this false friends. And you can study, there's a lot more. And um, you can search on internet or Google it and you're gonna find a lot of them. It is really nice when you know this meaning, so in that way you can use the right word for that situation or conversation that you're having. So it was a really nice video and a really short video and I hope you guys enjoyed. So you can also follow me on Snapchat, I'm Drielle Fran on Snapchat and Drielle Francini on Instagram. You can also subscribe here 
there is a video every week. I'm supposed to upload a video for you guys every Tuesday, but I'm not doing this. I don't know why. I just get lazy or tired or busy, but I'm so sorry, but I'll post it every week. So pay attention and be aware and subscribe so you can have the notifications on your cell phone or computer or whatever to come and watch. So I see you next week. Big kisses. Bye.